Okay, so this is going to be a video, and I've tried to record this thing, like, twice already, and I've been fumbling around. Uh, the second time was even worse than the first time, because the tutorial ended up being, like, 15 minutes for, like, the easiest, <laughs> for some of the easiest steps in the world. So I didn't want to freak anybody out when they saw that, um, that length of a video and be, being like, oh, I don't want to patch this game because <laughs> the tutorial is just way too hard to follow. No, we're going to make this super simple and easy. The only problem is that there's a uh, there's a variety of methods I uh, I do, and you don't need to do all these things at all. Just You need to only do like maybe 20% of this tutorial in order to get the game actually going. But people have so many different computers, and there's different ways of doing it. If you already have Dolphin installed, and you don't want to use my version of Dolphin, you might be doing something different. So I'm just going to go over everything try to make this as concise as possible um but the length of this video is probably going to be 10 minutes just because there's like 10 different things i'm trying to do anyway the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to check to make sure midway arcade treasures 3 our iso is genuine and so i'm going to go over three different ways to do that on command prompt actually four different ways see this is how you get a 15 minute video <laughs> there's four different ways i'm going to show you three in the beginning one at the very end in command prompt, if you're on Windows uh, 10 or any Windows system, you type in cert util like this dash hash file with a space. You want to drag and drop your um, ISO like so. It's a tongue twister. Type in MD5, press enter and just wait. It's going to do its thing. And um, so it spits out this number here. This is called a hash file. So if any, or it's a, it's a hash, it's a checksum. So if anything in that file, the ISO was changed, it would shoot out a different number. So let's copy and paste it. And I already did this, but if I were to copy and paste it into notepad, you'd see it's the same number that keeps on coming up. So that's good. If you're on Linux, you're most likely using Git. So I'm going to show you how to do it in Git just in case, but like, I feel like you should know this. If you're on Linux, you should know how to do this. Uh, anyway, so it's MD5 sum like that with a space, drag and drop your ISO, press enter. And you get the exact same number. The last method <coughs> is on Mac. If you're on Mac, you have terminal installed on your computer. So the command for terminal, and I can't do this because I'm not in terminal, but you type in MD5, MD5 space drag and drop your iso press enter and it'll uh it'll work it'll sh it should shoot out the same number but anyway we're done with that step we have a genuine iso or maybe we don't maybe we have an end kit file which uh you got from a dubious source i won't ask you how you got it but you're here anyway you already have an end kit file you're like shoot i need to get a genuine iso because my game isn't going to patch okay this is how it's done you download nkit from uh, Vim's layer. I'm sure there's other places you can get it from, but nkit.zip. You extract it, and uh, when you open up the contents, it'll look like this. Convert to ISO, convert to nkit. Uh, there's all these things. The only thing we're going to do is convert to ISO. So we're going to drag and drop our, uh, our nkit file here onto this... Uh, batch file and it's going to do all these processes and convert it to an ISO file. So let's just wait a bit. And uh this wallpaper this isn't normally my wallpaper but <laughs> it uh it's easier to see everything if it's just basic like this. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not this boring. So anyway. Anyway, um you can see it shoots out the MD5 number again. Uh we can copy and paste it. If you want to check to make sure it's the same number. Uh, this one's in caps this time, but don't worry. That's fine. It's not case sensitive. Anyway, so uh, it'll say it's a bad dump. Don't worry about that. It's just because it failed uh, a check. Because you most likely don't have a database installed. As do I. So uh, it shoots it out right here. So nkit. Processed. So it's going to be here. So nkit processed GameCube match fail right here. And uh, it already did the check, so um, we don't need to check <coughs> in our um, 
command line or anything. So uh, this is also a genuine ISO. Both of these, even though the names are different, these are both the same file. Let's move on to step two now. So now it's your choice. If you have a pre-configured version of Dolphin, you don't want to use my configured version. Um, you already have control set up and all of this stuff. You can download just the patch alone and you want to download Delta Patcher also from, uh, I think it's romhacking.net. You can download these two files. If you want to use my version of Dolphin, and I highly recommend that because I made all these uh, settings changes to get the game looking as best as possible with you know the least amount of graphical issues. Use my um, pre-configured version of Dolphin, just download it, unzip the file, um, and uh, you do not need the patcher here because the patch comes with this file. So it's up to you. You can either get this or this. So we're going to do just uh, we're going to do my configured version of Dolphin here. And uh, you want to navigate to this folder here. Rush 2049 Legacy Edition Path and Patch. Drag your ISO into this folder first. That's crucial. And then drag this drag this ISO on top of this batch file right here. That's called drag your midway arcade treasures three ISO. It's called that <laughs> in case you're not watching this YouTube tutorial. Um, so oh shoot, now what's it doing? No, no, it's working. Okay, I think it's working. Yeah, it's working anyway. Um, so okay, this should work. So there's an error but it says the file is located in the folder contact uh these guys which is basically just me uh at team rush if there's issues press the key okay we're good this iso is your is now your um this is your copy of legacy edition so what you're going to do is boot up dolphin now and uh i i configured the paths already but let me just uh get rid of that real quick so, so when you boot up Dolphin for the first time, it's going to look like this. If it's your very first time booting up Dolphin, double click the, uh, in the middle of the window here, click on this exact folder for your uh, ISO path, press select. And then now you'll see these, um, come up, um, on the top here, there's two more settings that you want to do graphics, which is, um, you can change what graphics, uh, backend and adapter you use. So uh, it's going to start off like this with OpenGL. You can, you can use a uh, direct 3D 11 or 12 in order to use your uh, GPU. So uh, make sure you do that if you want better performance. Um, and then you want to click controller. Now I use GameCube adapter and it works natively. But if you're using a PlayStation or Xbox controller, you want to go to standard controller, hit configure, and then um, it's a very simple process. You just click the button, like I would, I'd click on X right here, and then I'd press on the controller what I'd want the A button to be. So anyway, that's that. Um, real quick, I'm gonna go over the patcher now, but like if you if you got to this part and you did all this and you can play Legacy Edition, that's it. You can boot it up and play the game uh, however you'd like. You can. Once you see this screen, that's how you know you got the, the patch to work, the Team Rush. Anyway, so at the start, just mash until you get to the game selection. It's pretty loud, so you might want to turn the volume down. But anyway, that's the first method. And the second method is if you already have your own version of Dolphin you, you want to use. You can use Delta Patcher. And this is easy, too. This is just a drag and drop sort of thing. You want to make sure you're using the right ISO again. So you can just do this. And then I also have the patch available for download, which was, uh, I think it's this. It should it's it should be an X-Delta file. You just drag and drop it like that. And you click on Apply Patch, and it'll, um, it'll create a patch um, on whatever directory that the Delta Patcher is in. And then the last thing I'll go over is um in dolphin and you're not using my version of dolphin in order to have um the code set working 
which is right here. You need to go to Options and Configuration first. Click on uh, General and Enable Cheats. You want to make sure that's um, checked. So in my case, it's green. Um, you want to make sure that's enabled. Then you go to um, this game here. You left click it, then you right click it. And then you click on Properties. Navigate all the way to Gecko Codes like this. Now, I already have the codes added, but just so you can follow along, I'm going to click on Add New Code. And uh, let's call it Legacy Edition 1.2 and uh, or 1.2.1. It doesn't matter what the name is. But anyway, you go to the right where this um, text file is. Copy and paste everything that's in this text file. Copy and paste it into the code. Boom, that is it. Save and uh, exit out. So I, now I have like two of the exact same thing here. Um, and when I booted up Legacy Edition, the codes were already activated. And I just want to show you what it looks like when those codes are active real quick. So let me bring down the volume because, oh man, it's loud. You should be setting at like 50% volume <laughs> maximum. It's so loud. Um. So anyway, mash the start button. Oh, you know what? Hold on a second. If you find that your controller isn't working, it's because you have two instances of Dolphin being uh, ran. And your uh, controller will always default to the first one that was opened. Anyway, let's... Uh... Mash the start button here. Oh, gosh. I need to fix all this. This is... I can't believe the, <laughs> the game came out this loud. So we're going to mash the start button. Rush 2049. Click that. Should be on this menu here. It's loud. Um, there's the splash screen. It's a little bit different. We got our logo there. Made by Grumpy Bunny. And we're going to press start. I forgot how loud this was. Anyway, it looked all weird at first because my um, camera was all like that. But um, it won't be like that when you boot it up. Anyway, so Legacy Edition will have cheats opened up like this. You can put on whatever cheats you want. Some of the words are changed around. Um, when you go on the uh, car select, you'll notice the cars are way different than they are in Dreamcast and GameCube. Um... When you have the codes working, certain cars will have their names changed. Like, this is Nitro. This is just Rocket. This is uh, Rush Racing here. We have Cop Car here. So there's a lot of little cool little changes that the codes do. Um, but that's basically it. Yeah, you're so welcome to play the game. Um, I would recommend if you're reporting issues with the game, uh, make sure you're using this version of Dolphin that I have bundled. Because uh, certain things like um, like this right here, this texture might be like flickering right underneath the uh, checker flag. That red texture might be flickering on your uh, your version of Dolphin, which uh, on this one it won't because a certain setting was enabled. Anyway, that's it. So um, yeah, let me know if you're still running into trouble and. I'll uh, see if I can help you out. Okay, let's see if I'm over my time. Good, nice. Okay, 14 minutes. It beats 15.30. So now it's 14.20, but whatever. I'm going to end it right here. Thank you, guys. Uh, see ya.